Well, here we are at the section of our 10 part series that I call the terse two word matters that are packed with power. I suppose you want to know uh, the definition of the word terse, right? <laughs> Let's jump right in and search, study and apply matter number six that uses a word that without clarity could cause some tension. In fact, we will soon find out that without using some lexical aids, we might be unable to discern the difference in one word that has taken on multiple meanings in our English Bibles. My name is Keith Johnson of Biblical Foundations Academy International. Our mission is to inspire people around the world to build a biblical foundation for their faith. Welcome again to Scripture Bites. Okay, folks, you know the routine. CB, please upload our control verse for the sixth matter of the 10 matters that still matter to God. <laughs> I really love that title. Our control verse comes from Exodus chapter 20, verse 13 in the King James Version. Thou shalt not kill. Terse and tense. Wouldn't you agree? CB, please show how many times the word kill and its variants are found in the King James Version. Thank you. Now, we need to see if the KJV word kill matches the original Hebrew word. CB, please open the source scroll for our control verse in Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. You have to love the simplicity of this phrase. Lo tirzach. The lo is a negative particle meaning no or not. The next word will require a quick grammar alert. Tirzach is a cal imperfect second person masculine singular verb. Its three letter root word is ratzah. It has been prefixed with the consonant tav with a hyric vowel that lets me know that it is an imperfect verb in the second person masculine form. Did you get that? You better watch out or you might be learning a little Hebrew in this series. Here are the uses of the root word ratzah and their frequency. To murder, 47 times. To slaughter, two times. There are two things I want you to notice. First of all, the word Ratzach only shows up a total of 49 times, not the 138 times that kill and its variants appear in the KJV. The second thing to notice, the English word kill in our control verse is nowhere to be found in the usage of the Hebrew word Ratzach. This very well may be what I call an uh oh moment in our series. Let's push CB a little bit on this one. CB, please find our control verse in an English version that translates the source word Ratzach as something other than kill. Our control verse, you shall not murder, NASB. Okay. CB, is there any verse where the NASB uses the same source word Ratzach but translates it into the English word kill? NASB translates it one time as kill. Excellent. Okay. The sluggard says, there is a lion outside. I will be killed, Rasach, in the streets. A Proverbs chapter 22, verse 13 in ASB. Okay, Scripture Bite students, do you see that? The KJV translates our source word Rasach 49 times as kill, but the NASB version only translates Rasach one time into the English word kill. Now for you Strong's Concordance fans, here's where you have to be careful when it comes to using a concordance for a lexical issue. CB, please display the Strong's key numbers that the NASB has translated into the English word kill. Okay, there you see them. That's one, two, three, four, five, six times. Six different Hebrew words into the one English word kill. Okay, let's have some fun. CB, are you having fun yet? I guess I am. Please display the first time the English word kill is used in scripture. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest anyone finding him should kill him. Genesis chapter 4, 15. Now, please display the Hebrew words behind slayeth and kill. As you can see, neither of those words matches the word found in our control verse, Ratzach, which the KJV translated as kill. Now, do you see why I said, uh oh? The KJV translators got a bit lazy and threw the specific word into the same pile with other words that they translated as kill. Now we're getting somewhere. It seems that there's a reason the Hebrew word Ratzach is used here. The translation kill is much too general for this specific word. This is when I usually get real excited during my studies. 
The first time we see the Hebrew word ratzach used in our control verse is Exodus 20, 13, which could mean that the first time Moses and the people of Israel heard this word, it would catch their collective attention. I said could mean. One scenario would be that as the voice of God is thundering from the mountain, someone turns to his neighbor and says, what does the word ratzach mean? The other scenario is that the Israelites knew exactly what this word meant and understood why it was being used. We have the ability to use our SBI to help us dig deeper by comparing and contrasting the context, which while looking at statistics along with grammar to understand these 10 matters that still matter to God. The ancient Israelites understood the words in their language, history and context, so they would have known exactly why this word was used. CB, open up the reference window and display the Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew English Lexicon definition of the Hebrew word Raksach. Here's what they say. Murder, slay with premeditation, murderer with intent. There you have it. In fact, the NASB translators decided to be a bit more specific in their English re rendering of our control verse. Instead of thou shalt not kill, they translated lo tirzach as you shall not murder. CB, please open the memory verse window so we can learn this verse with our minds and hide it in our hearts. Nice and slow, one word at a time. Lo tirzach, lo tirzach, you shall not murder. Exodus 20 verse 13, the New American Standard and Scripture Bites versions. It seems that those two words are quite clear. Murder is a matter that still matters to God. Agreed? <laughs> well, that was fast. Let's move on. Until next time, keep reading, watching, and studying. This is your SBI assistant. Did you enjoy this scripture bite? If so, share it with your friends. Be sure to become a free member at bfainternational.com to download a PDF companion study guide for this edition of Scripture Bites. Visit bfainternational.com today to join the conversation.